now dear student chapter number 10 and uh, mechanical properties of the fluids we have and the topic which we have uh, for the discussion that is pressure difference across a curved liquid surface so if we are just discussing this one topic so we, it will be the easier to make the uh, measurement of the excess pressure inside a liquid drop as well as uh, the soap bubble as well as the um, air bubble deep inside the liquid okay so what is the kind of the mechanism uh, uh, when the free surface of the liquid comes uh, uh, that mean uh, <clears throat> with the concern of a curved surface so we are just assuming uh, one of the fact inside a wine when the free surface of a liquid is plain then the pressure is the same across the layers uh, in a upward and the lower side okay so uh, we have considered the uh, interface surface that mean uh, liquid and the air that is in the contact uh, okay if it is plain so we have the basic assumption that angle of contact should be the uh, 90 degree and uh, some of the combinations we have given glass vessel with this uh, that mean um, pure water with the silver vessel we have now if we are just assuming the curved surface uh, of a liquid as we are just pouring it on our particular surfaces or it come in the contact to the air so then there is a pressure difference on the interface surface of the liquid and the air so here I am just taking the uh, mechanism and uh, I have made the liquid interface surface okay so uh, at this time this uh, surface is uh, very much plain is there so we are just assuming uh, always uh, the free surface of a liquid having the tendency to minimize its contact surface area so here we can assume the this molecule uh, of the liquid is equally attracted in the all possible direction in a tangential direction okay tangential means that uh, the surface force uh, which act uh, along the surface okay so that's why the net force on this particle is the zero we have so here we can add the uh, some that mean point uh, for the discussion first <coughs> on the plane surface on the plane surface molecule is attracted equally in all directions the net resultant force on the molecule will be zero so here we can assume uh, the meaning of the pressure above the surface and below the surface of a liquid so the p uh, that mean uh, outside is equal to the p inside is there okay so here we can uh, assume the one of the basic fact is here okay now we are just talking uh, about the curved surfaces and uh, generally we have the two types of the curved surfaces first is a, a convex surface and second is a concave surface now i am one of uh, showing the one of the diagram of a convex surface and uh, generally we know the whenever the magnitude of the cohesive forces is greater compared to the adhesive forces so the liquid meniscus is the convex manner so here we are just assuming the surface tension forces are acting on a surface and uh, uh, the net resultant force uh, which is uh, inside the liquid in a downward direction we have okay so whenever it is pulled downward uh, so uh, so it may happen that the whole uh, liquid can be moved downward but it is not possible because at this time we are just assuming the pressure inside the liquid will uh, keep this shape in the equilibrium so it acts that mean inside inside pressure we have 
okay so this inside pressure is a quite loss to balance this surface tension force in opposite direction okay so that's why liquid can be stable in the equilibrium now at this time we can imagine the pressure just above the liquid that is called the outside pressure and definitely to make the equilibrium condition of the shape of a liquid or the convex shape of the liquid the inside pressure should be greater compared to the outside pressure okay so that's why the shape of a liquid can be exist in the convex form okay here we can make the simplest the parallelogram law uh, for the vector forces okay so the net forces is acting in a downward direction so here we are just getting the pressure difference that mean p inside is always greater than compared to the p outside and even we can say that the pressure on a uh, concave face uh, concave face uh, is always greater compared to the convex shape okay so whenever this pressure difference arises this is called the p inside minus p outside that is called the pressure and this pressure is known generally as a excess pressure we have okay so here we can uh, add the sum of the points uh, regarding to that one part due to surface tension forces the net force of attraction acting on a liquid surface okay so we should keep uh, in our mind that uh, the liquid can comes in a downward direction but to manage uh, this one uh, force there is a another force come into existence which applies a pressure uh, in a uh, opposite direction that mean applying a force to make the condition of the equilibrium okay to sustain the shape of liquid meniscus a force comes into play to balance surface tension force surface tension force surface tension force which act outside and applies pressure third point we can add here the pressure difference difference here p is inside minus p outside which keep the convex surface as usual okay so uh, this pressure uh, difference is called the excess pressure we have which is responsible for the shape of a liquid meniscus okay same how we are just assuming the another situation now we have the another kind of the meniscus shape that is called the concave meniscus shape we have now at this time on the liquid molecules the surface tension forces on uh, in uh, um, uh, along the concave shape is there okay now uh, to uh, now the resultant force is acting in a vertical downward direction uh, sorry vertical upward direction so it may be possible that uh, the liquid can be move in a uh, upward direction but it is not possible because on a concave side to maintain this concave shape there is a huge pressure is there 
and this pressure is acting opposite to the direction of the resultant surface tension force which uh, keeps uh, the shape uh, in a proper manner and definitely this pressure should be greater compared to the pressure inside uh, the liquid is here okay so this is the liquid uh, that mean p uh, this is the p outside we have suppose uh, because it is in the con 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 contact of the air and here we have the inside pressure and definite the pressure difference here that p outside minus p inside make the concept of the p axis is there and definitely this excess pressure help to maintain or to sustain the shape of a liquid is there okay so here further we can make the similar assumption of the forces are there first we can say the net force is acting in upward direction net force is acting in upward direction okay second point to be we can say that to sustain the shape of liquid to sustain the shape of li liquid meniscus a force So here I have uh, including the terminology first the net force is acting in an upward direction this is the force of the surface tension resultant force of the surface tension we can see here and to sustain the shape of a liquid because due to the, this surface tension force the liquid can move in an upward direction but it is not possible because at this time uh, the forces are acting in an opposite direction of the resultant surface tension forces that makes the um, shape of a meniscus as usual so we are just saying the pressure on a concave side is greater compared to the pressure inside the liquid okay so here the pressure is always uh, in a greater manner on a concave shape of the liquid so you must keep this one inside your mind okay now here I have made the simplest uh, expression uh, of the liquid uh, this is the liquid drop we have and uh, you must keep this one inside your mind this liquid drop drop having the one interface surface okay the liquid air interface surface okay so uh, because inside the drop there is a water is there okay and outside the air is there so what happens due to the surface tension force the free surface of the liquid having the tendency to reduce its size okay so it may possible if this force of surface tension is quite greater so the drop cannot be uh, spherical in the shape of there okay so at this time to balance this resultant force of the that means surface tension uh, the force which act in a outward direction okay uh, on the wall of a uh, that mean uh, on the wall of a, a liquid drop okay so this uh, force uh, uh, that sustain the shape of a liquid drop and definitely to make this force per unit area on a liquid drop inside the surface uh, this makes the concept of the uh, inside pressure we have okay and this is the outside pressure outside the liquid drop this is the surface of a liquid we have to sustain this kind of the spherical consideration we are just assuming the excess pressure that means p excess that is equal to the p inside minus p outside we have okay if the p inside and the p outside is very much equal so that this shape will not be in a curved manner the shape of the liquid will be plain okay this is the consideration we have okay so this is the consideration in which we are just assuming the p inside minus p outside is the uh, equal is there okay so always we have to be keep the, this estimation uh, to sustain the uh, spherical shape of a drop we have the inside pressure that mean is the more compared to the outside pressure okay and, and always uh, we have uh, the pressure uh, in the concave uh, surface that mean uh, uh, on the concave side is a much greater compared to the another sides okay so this is the reason that uh, um, 
we can discuss the concept of the pressure difference across the curved liquid surface and this one will make the help to make the measurement of the pressure uh, uh, across the liquid drops soap bubble as well as the air bubble deep inside the liquid okay thank you